today we are actually going to do the what I call the bargain tulip uh, winter planting video. Um, what I've got, I've got two urns that I'm going to be filling uh, pots for, liners for, for out front of the house. I'm only going to do two this year, the ones on the outer side of the front porch. And last year I did this project, it turned out really well. So I was really excited to find some more 50% off bulbs this year. So I bought a couple of different varieties. These are smaller ones. They grow 12 to 14 high. And then these are more of a long stem. They grow um, 18 to 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these pots with potting soil and I'm going to leave five inches of depth for the bulbs. So it'll be about, it's like about three inches of soil in the bottom of the pot, maybe just a hair bit more. And then I will arrange those bulbs in there. And I'm going to do this a certain way because last year I liked the look of the pots really well. And it had the long stems on the outside and the shorter stems in the center. And what that did was the long stems kind of came up and curved over the outside of the pot. It kind of lent itself to a natural arrangement. So I'm going for that look again. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fill these pots with a little bit of soil and then we'll place some bulbs. So I have my pots filled with about an even amount of soil. And what I did was I pressed that in there to make a nice flat base. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open this particular tulip up. And this is the one that's smaller, so I'm going to arrange those in the middle. And hopefully there's not used NASA grade plastic on here that I can get into because I didn't pre-open these things. And here lately, seems like a lot of these packaging materials are rough. But I'm gonna use, there's one, two, three, there's six bulbs in this. So I'm gonna use one packet per pot right in the center of this particular one. So, we will just place these right in the middle, very evenly and close together. Probably just a circular arrangement like that. And I'll put one in the middle, pointy side going up, remember, on tulips. So that one does not want to cooperate. Put those more towards the center. And then we'll do the same for this one. And I'm going to split the amount of bulbs for this particular pot. I don't know how many I've got in here, but we'll open this up and find out. And I do tend to keep the little covers of those and put in my, my plant um, information just so I know what color tulips I put in there. And this is a mix of purple and kind of a pinkish purple red, so I think it's going to be really pretty. So I have, let's divide these out. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and one tiny one. Okay, so we'll do a ring of seven and one and maybe eight and another and throw that tiny one in. So we'll go ahead and place these two. I'm going to have to space these out a little bit farther. I like to have them thick, but I didn't get as many um, bulbs this year. To be quite honest, I usually go out and look for them, but I didn't this year. I just happened to run upon these in one of the stores I was in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in that one. And then do the same over here. But yeah, I didn't, I was just actually shopping for groceries or something one day and saw these 50% off and I thought, oh, I'll grab those for the outer pots. I'm not going to do the inner pots of the porch th uh, right now. I'm actually thinking about maybe some really pretty pansies or some sort of spring planting in those a little bit different. I'll go ahead and put the short stems in the middle. This is a really simple project. You just need to put these out somewhere where it stays cold um, for most of the winter. And I'm gonna put these in the patio room out here and I'll show you where that spot is in just a bit and how I keep those over the winter. But I'm gonna go ahead and just fill the rest of these in. Like I said, this makes almost a natural arrangement, which is really pretty. I got this tiny bulb. I think I'm gonna put it over here because for some reason this one looks more thin than the other one. So we'll just work that bulb in there. 
All right, so from this point, what I do is I just take more potting soil. I'm gonna cover the tops of both of these up to probably about this rim, about five inches is all they need. And then I'll just lightly water those off, just lightly moisten the soil. And I only water these maybe every two to three weeks. I just kind of do the finger test on the soil. If it feels moist, I'll leave it alone. If it feels dry, I'll give it just a little bit. But I don't overwater because I don't want the bulbs to rot. And, you know, in early spring, you'll start seeing the, the ground push up just like you would out in your garden. Um, and then uh, not too long after that, you can start getting ready to put these out, you know, once your temperatures get a little bit above freezing. So let me finish topping these off with uh, soil and I'll show you where I store these for the winter. Now you can see I have those two pots filled right up to the rim there. And I did pat that out kind of smooth on top. That way I can tell in the spring, I can start seeing that soil when it pushes up, I know they're getting ready. And then that's also a good indicator that they need a little bit more water in the spring too. When you start to see them emerge, start watering them a little bit more frequently because they will start drying out more. But now let's go see where I store these for the winter time. All right, so here is where the tulips are going to rest. I've got a little plant stand here. This is in the lower um, garden room that's right inside the uh, kitchen garden space. So as you can see, here's where we're at. There's the urn and then the, the big cypress tree and around through here. So they're gonna be on this side. I did make a couple of tags, just red and purple tulip tags. So we would remember what those are. I don't anticipate having anything else out here, but you just never know. And then I've filled about half a can of water and I'm just going to lightly moisten the soil above all of these and just kind of let that seep in a bit. And I'm not gonna overwater these because like I said, I don't want these bulbs to rot, but just enough to moisten the soil. And then probably about two weeks or towards the end of the month, right after Christmas time, I'll come back out here and give them another little bit of watering, but this is just to kind of settle them in and get them going for now. So I kind of veered off there with the camera, sorry. Anyway, these will stay here in this spot until I see them start to emerge for spring. And that's it. I mean, this is a pretty easy uh, container garden and it's inexpensive, especially when you get the bulbs half off, you just pop them in here so I've got two urns completely done for spring already. The other bulb plants are resting well from um, a pretty strenuous summer. These three were uh, in the back kitchen garden around the patio room. I believe these were orange and this was a sunset yellow. These two were the ones I just had around in the front porch. These are the urns that I fixed the tulips for. And these were ivory cannas and I had some lantana and there was some coleus and the coleus is not giving it up. Neither are the, the uh, cannas. They're wanting to come back out in here. But I think they'll still rest enough even though they're not growing right now. I did water these yesterday, just gave them a little bit of moisture. I do the same thing with these that I do the tulip bulbs about every two to three weeks, just give them a little moisture. And I was looking at these yesterday, I do see life. So that is green, you know, so I know they're doing well. They're just dormant right now. There's another green spray, but uh, yeah, they do look rough for a while. And in the spring, I'll take these all out, divide them out and uh, they won't be near as crowded. I noticed these are getting really crowded in some of the pots. There's a new growth spike in there too. So anyway, that's where the rest of the things are stored. And I've got more cannas over there on the other shelf. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching Antique and Garden Showcase. I'm glad to get that project over with. It's not one that's very difficult, but you buy the bulbs and then they lay around and I'm trying to clean up for Christmas and I thought, I just need to get those out of the way. And it's not a hard project, so I took a little bit of time this morning and I have two planters completely done for spring. So all I have to do is just, you know, wait through the winter and they'll just emerge out there and then pop them out into the garden urns and they're ready to go. That's why I do a lot of planting in liners. If I had put those out in the ground or put them out and left them out, squirrels, chipmunks, you name it, would have been in there, the bulbs would have been gone. So in the garden room, they're protected. So it's the only way I can enjoy tulips here in Kentucky 6B. A lot of people have good luck. They do other things, but we have 
destructive squirrels. And especially this year, they are really bad this year. In fact, my uh, formal garden out front, I've had to replace pansies in because I came in one day and they had dug them up and thrown them out in the yard. Yeah. So thankfully in that bed, I have daffodils and they do not like daffodil bulbs. So they do shy away from that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.